Have you been wondering where are your Premiere Rush projects? Where are they stored? How can you share them with your colleagues? As we know, Premiere Rush is simplified version of Premiere Pro, but it's made specifically to be super friendly when it comes to creating content for socials. That is why it has some features that Premiere Pro doesn't. For example, changing aspect ratio or orientation just with one single click. On the other hand, it doesn't have a lot of features, panels and functions that Premiere Pro has. And project files are one of those things. But did you notice you can't even save Premiere Rush project? There's no save button. It has a solution, of course, and I'm going to tell you the solution, how to share your projects of Premiere Rush and where to find the actual assets. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe, okay? Check out the thanks button under this video as well. You help me, I help you. I help you, you help me. And show me the money. If you know the film, comment below. Everything that you do in Premiere Rush is stored locally on your computer or laptop. And the database is created for everything that you do in Premiere Rush and connects to your assets. But there's no actual project, Premiere Rush project file. When you enable the option sync with Creative Cloud, when you start your project in Premiere Rush, Everything that you do and all the assets are immediately uploaded to Creative Cloud. So whoever from your company is using the Creative Cloud account will have access to those files and it will appear on their homepage when they open Premiere Rush. Just keep in mind that if you cancel your subscription to Creative Cloud, there's no way your colleagues will access the files. The only person who will have access to the original Premiere Rush project will be the person who actually created them. So you will lose access to your projects as within the company if you cancel the subscription. Premiere Rush is built for quick workflow. It's called Rush. I mean, what else can you imagine under this name? So it's for socials. The longevity is very short. You are in a rush. You go and put together a video. You have limitations. You have great features, but also you have limitations. If you want to do it properly, if you want to do it like a professional, go and learn Premiere Pro. If you're in a hurry, if you're a marketing manager, if you're not actually a video person, just go and do it in Rush. But don't expect that you will have all the features that Premiere Pro does. And keep in mind, Adobe recommends to edit the footage, which is no longer than 20 minutes in raw format. So basically, if you are filming the conference the whole day and you're, then your idea is to edit eight hour video in Premiere Rush, it's more likely and basically almost 100% that your Premiere Rush will crash once you import this kind of footage. However, if the project is really important, so you create your great Instagram reel or TikTok or story in Premiere Rush and you're like, okay, I want to save this because it's very important, we will use it in six months or whatever, and you know you don't have the database, you don't know where to find the Premiere Rush projects because they are non-existent, basically. What you do is you open Premiere Rush project in Premiere Pro, and this way you literally save it, and it will be saved as Premiere Pro project. Of course, you cannot go back. You cannot open Premiere Pro project in Premiere Rush because of the lack of this uh, functions, capabilities. So... You can open Rush in Premiere Pro, but you cannot open Premiere Pro in Rush. So this is literally the way to save that, um, I would say, if the project is really important and you want to save it. But then you have to keep editing in Premiere Pro. I hope you found this video helpful. Again, if you did, which I think you did, subscribe, check out the thanks button under this video. You can check out my podcast, you can follow me on social media, you see everything. Um, and yeah, I'll see you next time. If you have any questions, comment below. Um, about Premiere Rush or anything in terms of editing and I will reply.